We've, we have fruit trees. Um, this week, I think we're harvesting beets and fennel. I think last year we grew 5,000 pounds of produce. Um, most of it we make available uh, through regional market outlets that participate in state and federal food assistance programs. So we kind of are like a food hub. We offer a weekly farm fresh box every week and this box is filled with a variety of season seasonal produce from farmers around the region. And this is all around from Las Cruces, um, Vado, Merino, El Paso, Socorro, and so on. Especially in these areas where there is a lack of resource to healthy eating, you can find a Dollar General in every corner, but you cannot find fresh produce in every corner. Uh, so for us, that's the access, the access and the connection to a healthy living life. And then mint, they have some mint over here. It is like a cycle of like healing. Uh, and then it also comes to culture, right? Like um decolonizing a lot of rituals that we have as as we are growing up getting rid of our fast food intake and actually enjoying cooking at home cooking what your grandparents your ancestors used to grow your beans your frijoles uh, learning the special and all the varieties that corn has to offer and what you can do with that the maize itself right there's also the cultural piece so what sorts of harms happen at a cultural level and cultural um, and cultural f dominant food narratives, right? Where there's uh, certain foods, the dominant narrative will say are more valuable than others. Certain people's wisdom is more valuable than others. And so the wisdom of our Mesoamerican ancestors, our Mesoamerican foods, all of that um, being devalued or diminished um, is part of the harm that happened at a less tangible, it's not like the soil, right, exactly, but it's the cultural soil of our communities. And so we're healing from that too. Uh, all of these practices that connect us to the land, that remind us we're part of the ecosystem, that remind us that we have wisdom in our families that kept um, our ancestors alive for thousands of years. And so that's part of what we're doing with La Semilla and our storytelling program.